When I think of poverty, I think about the people that I've met in the African countries I've visited with Oxfam, and they make me feel inspired and also angry that they are in the situations that they're in. One of my favorite people that I've met in my travels with Oxfam is a woman named Mama Grace. And she lives in Soweto and she runs a soup kitchen and she feeds about 250 children who have been orphaned by AIDS and have no parents. And she's someone in the community who just stepped forward and started the soup kitchen without any funding, without any help from anyone. And Oxfam found her and it's just been a pleasure to meet her and to help her. And she has a big, big heart and what she does for these kids and the life that these kids have. And they're so vibrant and well behaved and beautiful that I visit them whenever we we travel to South Africa and they're my favorite place to visit and it's a good inspiration in terms of how much you can do with very little. I believe as individuals that we can make a huge difference and it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot of money, it just takes some time and some effort. Um, being knowledgeable about the events that are going on in the world is a big step. I think that uh, paying attention to people in your own community is very important and just trying to live your life in a conscious way. When I meet the people in the countries in Africa that I've met who are very poor, the way that they go about their lives is so inspiring and filled with dignity and it reminds me every day when I'm back here in the United States that we can all live that way. I think that governments have a huge influence on poverty around the world and we have policies here in America that affect the farmers in Africa and we're all together in this, we're all connected and I think that we need to remember that and we need to hold our governments accountable for the policies that they're making.